So what is it that happened? What is it that has alert, allowed us now finally to realize the value of machine learning, finally to learn from our machines? The two trends that have driven big data to such success in the market have also driven AI and ML forward. The algorithms that the early researchers, that current practitioners use, are ravenous for data, and we finally have enough data on the planet to feed them. They also need scale-out computation and storage at low cost. And that's led to the proliferation of Hadoop and Spark and a lot of related technologies. But it's also meant that finally, we've got the computers, we've got the data, we can do this machine learning thing. Cloudera focuses on the largest enterprises as customers in the world, what we call the Global 8,000, the 8,000 companies that make a billion dollars or more in revenue. The appetite for this capability is insatiable among those folks. They've absolutely got the data at scale. 2013, in New York City, on the Strata Hadoop keynote stage, I announced that Cloudera was embracing the Apache Spark project. We pulled it in to our platform. At the time, we did that because we believed that it was going to supplant MapReduce as the deployment platform of choice for data processing and analytic workloads in Hadoop. Uh, and you know what? That's absolutely come true, right? MapReduce is still important, still relevant. Folks still use it. But new work on the platform in general happens on Spark or on other new frameworks, not so much on MapReduce anymore. Spark introduced, though, a new capability the impact of which has actually taken us by surprise. It allowed people to build and deploy scale-out machine learning applications much faster than they had previously done. Its flexibility, its ease of programming, meant that you could build ML apps, deploy them, train up models on massive data very, very quickly. And that's led to huge interest in the ecosystem. Now, we've worked with the open source community with our strong strategic partner, Intel, to optimize Spark for IA, but also to take all of the great open source ML libraries that snap into Spark. So think about MLlib, think about TensorFlow, think about all of the innovation going, in the, going on in the open source community. Make sure that that takes advantage of arithmetic and other support on the chip. And, and by the way, you will see this field continue to advance at a furious clip, in part because of the investments that hardware vendors are making. You all saw that, you all saw that Intel made a $15 billion acquisition of Mobileye. The ability to drive hardware platforms and the software algorithms that run on them forward in tandem is going to make artificial intelligence, machine learning, advanced analytics even more consumable. So if you've enjoyed the pace of innovation so far, fasten your gravity belts, you ain't seen nothing yet. The enthusiasm for this is intense. You see on the slide, more than 400 of our large customers are running Spark in production on a variety of these workloads. They all want to apply ML to business problems.